Okay, here I am. I'm going to echo out this multi-line string. Not a problem, right? It does it. Great job. But let's say I wanted to store that string. There's a few things here that might be issues. One, it's multi-line. So we may want to remove those new lines which we could use set or tr to do that, but we also want to preserve those. So if we're going to take the string and put it into a database or a JSON file or some other type of storage, we kind of want it on a, all on one line, but to preserve where the new line characters are. We also have these quotation marks that could be ca that cause problems. And I also have a Unicode character here that could cause problems. So how can we easily convert all this? Yeah, you could use said and awk and, and stuff like that, but actually the tool JQ, which is used for parsing through JSON files can actually do this for you. So again, quotation marks, you know, if I wanted to, I could go like this, I could backslash them out and, and that would work, but I would have to do that for each quotation mark. And we may not know the string, we may be pulling data from someplace using a script and we want to automatically put these backslashes in there. And also again, we want to convert this Unicode character to something a little more compatible. And again, preserve those new line characters. So let's go up to our first example here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe this into JQ. Now JQ may not be installed on your system by default, but will most likely be in your repositories for your uh, Linux system. So go ahead and install that. It's a very useful tool. And what I'm going to say here is if I say dash capital R and then a period, what we're going to do here, what does that do? Well, that automatically went ahead and put backslashes before our quotation marks there. And we'll do it for other characters as well. In certain cases, it will just take care of that for you. You don't have to come up with your own little uh, algorithm to figure that out. Uh, now, we still uh, have everything here with the Unicode characters. So what I can add to that is dash A, so lowercase a, so dash R, lowercase a, and now it converted that into a more compatible format for us. But we still have everything as multiple strings. Each line is a new string. We don't want that, so let's go ahead, run the same command. We're gonna add S for slurp, is what it stands for if you read the man file. And now we have everything in on one line, in a string, properly quotated with the quotations around the end there. We have backslashes before these quotation marks. We have our Unicode character now converted to a more uh, 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 compatible format. And then we also have all, all our new line characters. Now, if I was to take this, highlight it, and you'll see. So if we store that somewhere, we pull it out, and then we here we're going to echo it back out. You can see echo will automatically uh, put everything back how it's supposed to be. So that, that's a very usable string there rather than what we had before with all the uniqueness to it. Again, if you want to see more of what these commands, the capital R, lowercase s and a do, you can look in the man file. We do forward slash capital R. You can see here, this takes the raw input uh, and, and that's going to, again, do the backslashes for us. We have S for slurp, which is going to put everything on one line, so ring it as, you know, as arrays. And then if we do our dash A here, you can see that it's going to take uh, non-ASCII Unicode uh, code points and convert them to UTF-8, which is just a little more compatible for most systems. So I hope you found that useful. You know, I have found this useful a few times because it used to be when I had uh, things like this, I would try to do it myself. I would try to use said or tr to go through and oh, find all the quotation marks and backslash them. Uh, and, and you could do that but there's already tools out there. This is just one, I'm sure there's other, but I use JQ for a lot of things because I do a lot of stuff, stuff with JSON and just having this little option here makes it so much easier to just make those strings that I have uh, and make sure that they are compatible uh, with more things. So thanks for watching. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description of my website as well as my Patreon page. On my website, you can search through all my videos uh, as well as... Go to the support section, maybe, and support me. Again, I have LibrePay, PayPal, Patreon. If you can't support me that way, be sure to like, share, subscribe, commenting. And I always just I thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day.